What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to A1 Hoop Zone. Back at y'all another one, man. But before we jump into this, make sure you hit that like button, sub to the channel if you're new. Also, hey, if you want anything off these predictions, all I'm asking for is your participation. Hit that like button, sub to the channel. Uh, hit me with a comment. Let me know if you want some off of or, or if it was helpful or not. Uh, much appreciated, man. Let's go ahead and dive off into this, man. We got the Oklahoma City Thunder sitting at 15 and 19 versus the 9 and 26 Charlotte Hornets. Um, right off the bat, for injury perspective of this, we all know uh, Chet Holm was out for the season. So uh, I'm not going to kind of mention him anymore as far as for that perspective of it. Um, let's see. Jeremiah Robinson Earl is out with an ankle injury, and um, Osman uh, Yang is also out. And then on the flip side of that, man, for the Hornets, um, we got Dennis Smith Jr. is questionable for this game. Kelly Oubre is doubtful, and uh, Cody Martin is out um, for 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 the Hornets, man. So um, <clears throat> this is this is uh, I would say record wise, obviously you're gonna you're probably gonna favor the the Oklahoma City Thunder. Uh, Fifteen obviously beats nine any day, but at the same time, man, uh, it's a matter of the product you're putting out there on the floor. This this uh, Oklahoma City Thunder team, they're tough extremely tough. They play every team tough. You know, they're not one of those teams to go in there and get blown out like that. Uh, even if they're getting blown out, they're still fighting and scrapping their way back into the game to like, to make it look at least manageable um, at the end of the, you know, that end score and things of that nature, man. But Shea Gillis, Alexander, and, and Josh Giddy are definitely um, vibing together, man. Uh, Shea Gillis had a, had a run, you know, at, at one point, man, uh, where he, you know, you had to, he's putting an all-star level numbers and you have to respect that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I think a lot of teams are obviously starting to keen in on that, uh, focus in and, and strategically set game plans uh, for him. Uh, Josh Giddy's been stepping up for them as well. Sneaky, underrated player. Uh, Lou Dort, obviously their their um their their muscle man. And then um, that's that's kind of the, the the main big three that you know for the Oklahoma City Thunder. On the flip side of that, for the Hornets, however, you got Lamelo Ball, you got Terry Rozier, Gordon Hayward is back, PJ Washington, and Mason Plumlee. And then, um, you know, <clears throat> again, with Dennis Smith Jr., his resurgence, and then obviously with Kelly Oubre as well, uh, th this team definitely has a, a roster that's built to fly. They're built for speed, and they can definitely get out, get after it. You know what I mean? Um, so th that's what makes this an interesting game for me. It's very hard to pick on this, this particular one because it could go either way. But um, obviously we're, we're going to have to make a, make a, a prediction here and rock out with a team one way or the other. <clears throat> with that said, man, I'm going to rock out the Charlotte Hornets on this one. Uh, I think, again, with Gordon Hayward being back, uh, it kind of changed the dynamic of things. You got a, a savvy veteran, definitely can score with the best of them, and, and is smarter the defensive end as well. Uh, LaMelo's back, so he, he's still trying to get his his legs and run under him. And obviously, he missed a, a bunch of games as well. And then you got Terry Rozier, man. Uh, again, another savvy vet, um, tough, hard-nosed player, can – Definitely good on both sides of the ball as well. Uh, and then P.J. Washington, a stretch big. Um, we, we've seen what he can do. He can handle the ball. can shoot three, pass, rebound. So he, he, he kind of he's able to do it all. And then uh, Mason Plumlee is a, is a rim defender, goes after. He's also a rim runner on the offensive end as well. So uh, definitely going to be a good game, uh, exciting game to watch. But again, for our prediction on this one, man, I'm rock out with the Charlotte Hornets to win this one, man. But that's all I got for y'all. I appreciate you stopping through. Make sure you hit that like button, sub to the channel if you're new. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section. I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of y'all. And if you wish to support the channel, that information is flowing in the scrolling in the bottom of the screen. It's also in the description of the video, man. Again, I appreciate you stopping through, and I'll catch you on another one.